Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello to you. Welcome back to the channel where you join me at the Nürburgring straight after the finish of the 24 hour race. It's pretty wet and cold here and I know it's been a busy period on the channel recently. It's about to get busier because one of these, a BMW M2 competition, is going to be joining the team. Now right here behind us is a showcase of the M2 competition wearing many of their new M performance parts and this car is actually specced to around 100,000 euros. We're going to take a look around it, talk a bit about the M2 competition in person before Schmark joins us, who's going to be taking delivery of his car later on to talk a little bit more about what he's going to be doing to it. So let's get started and have a look at the M2 competition. You can get a feel for just how horrendous the weather has been today, but we do have a quick break in the weather. So let's take a look around this car, the M2 Competition, wearing the M Performance parts. But firstly, the M2 Competition, if you're not hugely familiar with BMW's new sports car, is an update in effect to the M2 that's now going out of production. The biggest thing that's changed is the engine in here from the M3 and M4. The S55 engine that makes 410 horsepower, 40 up from before and 550 newton meters 50 up from before so the car is slightly heavier but we'll have a look under the bonnet in a moment to have a look at that new engine we're going to talk quite a bit about the changes though the m performance parts because this car is wearing an awful lot of them it's very different actually to the standard m2 competition things for example like the rear wing the wheels even the body parts the front fenders uh, the side skirts that you have down here the exhaust system and we'll have a look at the interior too so the m2 competition introduced new seats um, generally new design so for example around the front a significant part of that new design is those center parts that aren't normally uh, stick it up in the M colors like that the grille at the front is also now connected through to one part uh, where before it was split into two that's in a way partly familiar from the life cycle update of the M2 itself anyway so the new lights but many other changes so let me go and find Schmark who can tell us a lot more about this car meet Mark hello or Schmark as we know him because Mark is the manager of Schmi now we've seen your M2 yes before yeah fitting the exhaust you also just sold it after doing a ton of miles yeah 40,000 kilometers in roughly two years that's a lot of driving. I think, if I remember rightly, in about six months, you had done 25,000? 26, yes. 26,000 kilometers in yeah. six months in an M2. So it's fair to say that Mark knows a thing or two about the BMW M2. Yeah, I do. And I'm really <laughs> looking forward to what's behind me the right competition. now. The competition. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I, I hope to have it uh, being delivered, hopefully August, maybe September. Um, so, autumn time, autumn, early winter. Yes. Now, we're going to try and do a lot of things with BMW and the filming of the M2 competition, because yes. it's a particularly interesting car. Yeah. And I think you're going to be installing some of these performance parts. Uh, a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of them. So let's, let's go for a quick run around the car, because you can talk me and everyone through this way better than I possibly could. All I can tell is that a lot has changed. And I know one thing that you're a big fan of is the roof. Yes, definitely. The roof. Definitely. Let's come straight through to the roof. So when, when the M2 came out, a lot of people were, I guess, screaming that it would be, oh, sorry, the competition came out. A lot of people were screaming that it would be more on top of the M2, but the price point is very similar. Yep. Yes. And you were looking for things like rear wings and carbon roofs, which weren't default options. How does that work? Um, just to give you an idea, there are roughly 25 different upgrades you can get now for this car. So a lot of the audience that had an M2 in their garage were screaming for upgrades and saying, I would like to have a carbon fiber roof. So um, you now can get it. It's being installed at the dealer. So you get your full car from the factory at the dealer. And in the US, you'll get it into the port. And then they will rip out the old roof and put in a carbon roof. And put in a carbon roof. Um, and it counts as everything. Everything that's uh, M performance is always after market, like after sales. Okay, so, so installed it's after delivery at the dealer, it's which you can do from new, yeah. or you could install it after you've driven some miles on the road. Yeah, and also the nice thing is, the roof fits on M2 or an M2 LCI or an 240i or any other two series without being oh, really? convertible. Okay. Yeah, you can fit it. Um, there's a bunch of parts that don't fit, of course, yeah, in the mirror cap. As you said, I'm just picking up on the fact that you pointed out it doesn't fit on a convertible. No, no, no. <laughs> but that was, uh, and it also, you know, no mirror caps, the, yes, the splits the new mirrors. I didn't actually mention that. Obviously, the M2 competition introduced the more traditional style M mirrors yeah. with the performance parts, carbon fiber. Yeah, these are from uh, the M3 caps. and the M4, so they're the exact same ones. Okay. Um, similar to 
uh, brakes, suspension, there's a lot of things that they borrowed from the M3 and the M4. Yeah. It's just to run you through a little bit what they uh, upgraded on the car. So the roof is new, mm -hmm. there's a carbon fiber um, a bonnet. Full which, bonnet? Yep. Not just the exposed no, section? No, 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 you get it from the dealer in the primer, so you can, the dealer will paint it in the color of your car. If you okay. want, you can paint it completely, but the uh, power dome, which yep. we all love. Power dome. <laughs> um, it's not functional, but it's for looks. Um, and a lot of people Reminds like... me of E92 M3. Yeah, 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 yeah. All in, um, uh, Carbon fiber grills. Which is really nice, actually, the full yeah. grill. Well, it's one part. Obviously, yeah, we're yeah, familiar yeah. with saying two grills for the kidneys, but now it's one. Yeah, it looks much better between the fact that this is black and that is carbon fiber. Yeah, like true, that's quite smart with the gloss yeah. black bits. Then we have the splitter, which is a full splitter with yeah. uh, the side wing plates. Yeah. Um, the sticker pack, which you see. The sticker pack, it's a small thing, but I love that matching the M graphic. I'm not so sure of the side ones. No, the okay, side is fine. a bit more dramatic. Okay. And uh, another big part is a full new front fender on both sides, full yeah. carbon fiber, and they're oh, that's functional. carbon as well. Yeah. So this is again left exposed here, but it yeah. doesn't need to be. You can paint it if you want to, and it's fully functional. So yeah. air goes through it. Swelling air it comes out the back. Uh, it replaces the little um, side part you, had, yeah. you have. You could also get that now in carbon from okay. M Performance. Um, setup and performance uh, suspension. Yep. Suspension kit is the same as you got on the M2, only now it's red. So from now on, M Performance parts are red. So if you okay. see a red caliper or a red suspension, uh -huh. you know it's M Performance. Um, the brake Which means M Performance calipers yeah. are on the, or disc or brakes yeah. are on this car. Um, they are uh, with two more pistons on the uh, calipers and bigger discs. Um, and the normal kit is grey and this is red, but they're exactly the same. The okay. difference is, is that this is aftermarket, so people with an M2, if you want to have a better brake kit, you now can get it. Okay. A lot of people okay. are asking for this, so that's the The, the wheels as well? Uh, yes, but these wheels are already available for quite a while. Okay. Um, also with the uh, uh, the cups, you know, the tires, so okay, it's not really new. Tires. They are quite similar to the ones that are on the uh, Sticky M3, rubber. Uh, on the M3 CS and on the M4 CS. So, okay. Continuing down the car, avoiding the puddles, because there yes, are some gigantic ones work. around. This is already available from the M2 on the M2 LCI. There's nothing really new. You can get that already. Um, if we move to the rear, um, this wing we know from other models in the M range. Um, <laughs> That's how wet it's been today. <laughs> yeah, it's nice for the birds. <laughs> you know, then the birds will, will hit it with their uh, with the front. It's not going to be really nice because you're going to damage it. But okay, <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, there's also a new um, uh, exhaust, which yep. is a titanium exhaust. Okay, just to come down here, still familiar setup in yep. terms of exhaust tips, twin tips on each side, yep. carbon fiber surround, carbon diffuser. Yes, and also, performance. But it's, I think it's the same one we already have from okay. the previous models, so it's not quite different. There's a new trunk as well with a nice, like, like duck, uh, duck tail spoiler. Yeah, duck tail so spoiler. this is the normal boot. Yeah, the this normal is totally trunk. Totally normal one. And okay. there's a new one which says and performance here and is full carbon as well. Uh, okay. So and then um, the M2 competition badge, just to remind you guys. So there have been competition package versions of cars before, but now it's just M2 competition. Yeah, same as M5 competition. Same badge, only the two is a five. I just noticed it has some striping underneath the uh, on the spoiler arms as well. Yeah. No. Let's let's open the the bonnet. Yeah. Come around, double pull, traditional BMW style. I'm going to let you come through and do the honors on this one. Really lovely. So, so engine S55 and the engine cover is the same engine covers from the M3 and the M4 and are also available for this car. So just quickly recap, by the way, guys, three liter, twin turbocharged, twin scroll turbos, uh, straight six engine, 410 horsepower, 550 newton meters, touch quicker than the outgoing M2. Yeah. You can have a manual or a DCT. Which yeah. have you gone for? DCT. Makes sense for lots of miles, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And I have a manual at home, so... Uh, this is nice. Yeah, this would be nice. This, uh, the front end will be much better than in the M2. So, M performance parts, the cover? Yeah, under the cover. With the, uh, the stripes on it? Yeah, yeah. Well, not uh, the uh, cheap cover, I think. Yeah. To the inside, then, if we just come around here. Yes. So, what's different on the inside? Well, the new seats. Yeah, definitely. But... Um, the seats uh, are not for uh, M performance. No, no, but new factory. for the uh, yeah. competition. Yeah, blue and in orange. So yeah. you can have the stitching and these inner parts in two colors. Mm -hmm. um, side side sills, kick plates. Are M performance. Um, you can have the, and I had them on my M2 as well. They're quite an easy upgrade. I like them a lot. They're not standard there. Um, steering wheel, of course. There's two steering wheels. This one and the one with the shift lights in there. Mm -hmm. So uh, wait, this is an upgraded wheel from standard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the 12 o'clock marking stripe? 
mm -hmm. and with the uh, carbon yeah. trim. That's really interesting trim, by the way. Yeah, it doesn't have the uh, the resin in it. So it's so carbon it's quite... fiber. Yeah. Layered carbon fiber, but without the resin on top of it. Yeah, and then Along of course the you have the uh, the matching pack for the uh, shift yeah. selector and for your handbrake, uh, and that's for the interior. You have floor mats available if you want to, but really that's more or less it. Yes, more or less it. You know. So other things that just generally change versus your car that's now got this sort of almost backlit digital style display, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, the ability to change settings and things yeah that this is settings. brilliant this is what we always wanted you know it's like you know you can do uh you know the settings which you normally have from the m3 m4 you know how the gearbox responds here you can set the steering and you can set the engine response and you can all set them separately and you can then set them under your m1 and m2 buttons a, in a normal M2 that was not there, there was only like a, a, a toggle switch here, mm -hmm. um, which is great. Now we have now these ones. Ah, M seat belts. M seat belts as well. Do you know what? It's such a little thing, but I particularly love yeah. the triple M stripes on the seat belts. It's Excellent. so nice, yeah. really nice touch. Now from, from my spec to, to, to dive into that particular subject, mm -hmm. uh, the car, my M2, will be quite similar to um, the previous M2 I had. So the yep. competition, the spec will be the same. I only will get the EBA radio. I will take the upgraded brakes. I will yep. take the, the upgraded wheels, which were the wheels which were um, in the video we made a few weeks ago, only in black. So I'll take okay. the black wheels and I will take the upgraded seats. Um, yep. The exterior color will be Hockenheim silver. But there's still manual seats, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna do it because the, the, the thing is, and that's a bit of a, um, I think we have never tested it, but we feel that if you take the automatic seat, you sit higher. Okay. It's, it's, it's I don't know, it's a feeling. Maybe a subconscious feeling. Yeah, uh, uh, it's, it's a thing. So I will take these seats, uh, interior stitching is orange. Yeah. Um, and that's the spec, and I hope, I hope, I hope that when I'm being one of the first, that it comes in August, September. We will go, hopefully, make some videos picking it up and featuring yeah. it fairly heavily on the channel, because, well, in the past, the uh, previous M2 appeared in various bits of con comment, com yeah. comment, content. Yes. It came on the Fuel Faction trip, Fuel yeah. Faction Aina, the first one, yeah. along with my uh, three of mine, yeah, and, and then fitting the exhaust, yeah. um, and it's been around. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> and hopefully, hopefully we're gonna visit the factory. Um, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna fit the roof, which is an yeah. interesting thing, because a lot of people are discussing the roof right now, um, and because it's quite an impactful thing to start, yeah. start cutting in a roof. Yeah, to me, to the idea of, Let's take a car and let's change the roof on it yeah. afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, I hope I can fit some other parts because I would love to have the bonnet, the trunk, uh, maybe the wing, splitter, definitely. So this will be a really expensive. But, uh, if you project. didn't know, by the way, we've also had a look at Mark's Mini on yeah. the channel, his Mini GP2, which you've gone completely over the top with. Yeah, yeah, it's quite different after the last time you saw it. It's now <laughs> almost a new book ring ready. So yeah, yeah. Okay. we did, did seats, we are caged, belt, engine rebuild, blah, 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 wheels, whatever. So now it's really like track spec for the, for the ring. Which is also partly the inspiration for one of my latest cars that is yeah. going to become yeah. very much a project car. Yeah. That's yeah. has been inspired by yeah. Mark. Yeah. So I'm excited, hope you guys are too. Looking forward to sharing what this car is gonna be like when we yeah. drive it. No doubt we'll yeah. head over together yeah. to pick it up or yeah. whatever yeah. happens when the time we'll comes. See, we'll see what happens and uh, if you have any questions with regards to the car uh, feel free to drop them on my Instagram or anywhere else. On Schmark's Instagram or yeah. in the comments down below and he'll be very happy to answer every single yeah, one. Yeah, no worries, no worries. <laughs> you, you know, I'm happy to help you. Please don't ask any questions about the collar because I don't know. The <laughs> collar is fully personal but any other questions feel free to ask. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for showing us around. Yeah, no worries. And uh, exciting times ahead as the team selection of cars grows. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. It's like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's great. The more BMWs <laughs> in the team is good. Mark's off to drive the M5 for a bit coming up as well while I'm away doing other things. But it's been a fun time here, even if today's weather hasn't been great. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the videos we've been shooting. We will wrap it up there though. Thank you very much as always. Catch up with you again very soon. Cheers. Yeah.